Good afternoon and welcome to the Kerry Garden Show. Alan Finn checking back in with you here again at Boils of Calorglan for another exciting show. This week, we're going to be focusing on one of our residents of our garden. Not quite the garden itself, but we're going to be talking about the birds, how we can encourage them, how we can feed them over the winter, and how we can have these beautiful creatures brighten up our garden during the winter time. Let's go and find Trish and find out exactly how we can do that. Here we are in Boyles and we've got a fine table for the birds. Trish, are we for the birds <laughs> this week? We're for the birds this morning, Alan. Well, I'm sure a lot of people would say we're normally a bit yeah. for the birds, aren't they? Those gang on the garden show, they're a bit for the birds. But this week we are completely for the birds. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. We've had a good week. Oh, what Weather a week. has been fabulous. It's not often now that we'd be actually still no. in the short sleeves yeah, and not we'll freezing. Yeah, we'll be trying, will we yeah. take off the coats or not? But this week we've been out and everybody has been out gardening. We've yeah. had a really busy week. Really so busy week, it's yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. Loads of tidying up was done and loads of planting of the winter mm. bedding and everything yeah so um it's just great yeah great I see to get a, this weather. a lot of the county council workers as well they're enjoying it they're cleaning up the the leaves a lot of That's them are around, right. the, around yes. the county as well yeah. so there's lots lots happening yeah. A lot is right. A lot is happening. <laughs> but uh, today's, on today's show, we're going to focus on uh, our little feathered friends. Uh, because at this time of year, Trish, I guess, uh, you kind of need to kind of start thinking about them and bring them into the garden and feeding them and stuff like that. Because a lot of their food sources are going to pretty much dry up or, or not be accessible in the exactly, next couple of weeks. Exactly, yeah. I suppose people always wonder, when do I start feeding birds? So I suppose the best time is when it starts to get cold, when mm -hmm. it's getting dark, when it's getting wet. And as you said yourself, when there's not enough food surface uh, sort of things in the garden to yeah. eat because we had our first frost this week as well we too had, didn't there we was this very yeah. slight frost now it slight wasn't very frost. severe but no, it's there no, every definitely. morning it's yeah. colder yeah. so usually it's a good time to feed it some people feed the birds all year round some mm -hmm. feed them then up until about may june because after that then there's plenty in the garden they can be plenty getting themselves yeah but one thing i can say is that once you start feeding the birds don't stop okay because if you encourage them into the garden and then nothing's there and then they're going oh god where'll i go now like yeah. so keep feeding them but don't overfeed them then as well like fill your containers maybe every morning or every second morning if they're gone by 12 o'clock that's fine yeah don't feed them again like they're fine okay, again until yeah, the following yeah, yeah. morning um because a lot of the the birds as well too they're 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 about habit and obviously a bit like bees or anything like that if they know there's a food source they're going to keep coming exactly, back exactly yeah. and if you don't obviously keep feeding them then they're kind of oh no i didn't have a plan b or exactly you know? yeah no that's that is the thing like so just give them just keep feeding them regularly and they'll mm. be delighted with that now i suppose where do you put the bird feeders that's a huge yeah, thing i guess that's a, that's thing. the big thing for everyone because you know you obviously want to to have it in a position where i guess you could see what's exactly. happening exactly but it, yeah. not too open because i suppose other birds might be kind of afraid of predators or dogs or cats around you have it all answered there have, oh though. sorry oh all sorry answered. but it, but it, but again the, as no, but said, you're these, right exactly, you need yeah. it to have it somewhere where you can see it but mm -hmm. obviously not a busy spot where there's loads of people walking or you're driving in the car or something like that yeah. because what they'll automatically do if they're on a feeder they see a person hear a car they'll fly away God. right so put it somewhere where you can see it if you have trees it would be fantastic you can hang containers off the trees like the little feeders they'd be perfect like that mm -hmm. but if you don't have any trees put a feeding station i have one here now that people are on uh, facebook would be able to see it's a feeding station what it is is a metal pole and it's got the hooks off it so you can hang your feeders yeah and it's also got the little water tray water as well so, yeah. now if you were putting this up somewhere put it somewhere near where they can perch okay so say if you've got a wall mm -hmm. put it somewhere near that so they can actually fly off the feeding station onto the wall mm -hmm. that they're not looking for a place to land do yeah you know, that sort of way as well i know that yeah. might be hard in a lot of circumstances if it you have a house yeah, and yeah. if you have nothing around uh, but if you have a perching station around it, it would be better mm -hmm. so they can kind of come and go because obviously yes. they're very shy and timid we'll see that's uh, it and they're not know? actually going to you know stay on the feeding station yeah. all day yeah now i suppose with the feeding feeding stations as well it's very important to actually clean out the the feeders every now and again as well okay because say for example then that you have your peanuts or your bird seed or whatever into it mm -hmm. they'll get dirty and they'll get moldy or whatever so maybe about every month just take out all the seed or the peanuts the or whatever the give them a good wash yeah. just ordinary hot water like don't use detergents or anything like that yeah, yeah. and just to clean them out 
maybe yeah. move the area just a tiny bit now because obviously then you'll have bits on the ground as yes, well yes or just rake them up but mm -hmm. the likes of the sunflower seed like sometimes there's no waste in that peanuts okay. there's no waste yeah if you get a good quality bird feed yeah you'll have no waste okay and you know we have loads of ones now in stock here in the garden center yeah um again the container there's different ones there's different lots of products. different ones for yeah. the, for for i guess even just for the different size birds um it, it, it also means you know if you're in if you're in kind of a built-up area trish mm. you know as well too that's the sort of thing as well it's lovely to see these birds that you might normally see just exactly. come into the garden yeah, you know yeah. so um having those little feeders and everything it's, it's great and not just for kids for older oh older for people, older you know, like love i mean i do recommend even getting the book on birds so if a bird comes in and you're going oh, what's that you'll be yeah. able to reference it or take pictures of it i mean yeah. birds are absolutely <laughs> fabulous it's like stunning, yeah. but always remember to put a water source near close by close yeah. by because they need water as well mm -hmm. again as i was showing you that feeding station that had a small little water yeah keep that filled up and cleaned as well regularly mm -hmm. every day so it's a fresh source and i was just going to ask the fact about cleaning this stuff would it actually would it make the birds sick if there was like kind of moldy gone off stuff or they just are they just won't even they won't come back they won't come back but yeah. it would make them sick as well it'll give kind of viruses or whatever yeah so like i'm not saying clean them out every week or anything no, like that there's no said, need once for a that month. once a month would yeah. do it fine and no detergents yeah. or anything okay but for the water sources then we've lovely bird bats in stock yeah um they're lovely and ornamental for the garden as well. Beautiful, yeah. You can put it in if you had a nice shrub bed or whatever. Put it in amongst it. Like mm -hmm. they come in the blues, the greens. I, I think see there's a grey and, and, and stuff like that yeah, as well too. Yeah, and we've too. concrete ones here then in front. The concrete mm -hmm. ones would turn a lovely kind of greenish colour then as well. They nearly kind of blend in with to the do. wall and everything. And like as you know. I say, they're doing the job of keeping the birds happy and yeah. they're nice ornamental feature then yeah, as well. Yeah. And also remember when there's frost, to crack the ice crack the it. ice or they're going yeah. to be yeah yeah, yeah. or else <laughs> yeah we need the woodpecker around That's to it. Do yeah. The job. <laughs> yeah. so listen let's talk about the different types of uh, bird feeders that you have here so the first one you picked up there now it's a uh, at uh, the ball yes energy balls. energy balls yeah, yeah. Energy we've seen balls. these now yeah. you can buy them in big buckets or you can buy them in small quantities as well mm -hmm. and usually that feeder that you have in your hand now alan will take about three balls okay and they'll there's everything in that like the seed in it and there's different proportions in it mm -hmm. and it's high in oil and saturates or whatever and okay. it's actually very very good That's and there's sunflowers great, in it as well great, great for what they need so they'll be easy again now all of these are quite easy you just twist off the top and it comes off yeah. and back on again okay um now the i suppose between the peanut and the cedar one with the peanut you need a little small little mesh yeah uh, so it's actually not going to fall out the mm -hmm. peanuts and then this one it's a glass one or, or perspex or whatever yeah and, and this this one is for the for the seeds for the seeds so yeah. that you keep your seed in because obviously you couldn't put seed in this no you have more in the ground yeah, than yeah. Anything else, and like. also they'll be able to peck at the peanuts and break them up and kind of take little bits away yes, and stuff exactly. yeah exactly and with these they're called little perching units yeah as well they're so little, they're able yeah. to sit in that and they're able they're to peck away table then. for four uh. table for four yeah and we can have ones for six there's uh. exclusive ones you can yeah, get as well yeah, really yeah, big great ones stuff. yeah yeah and would you kind of fill this halfway up fit uh, Trish or would All you right, fill it up the, the full way, way Ellen. Yeah. yeah I'd fill it up the full way again like you kind of have to see how many birds are coming into your garden as well mm. but generally if you're feeding you'll get loads you'll yeah, get loads yeah. now we've got two other little smaller ones are these just they're um, just ones that you can buy ready to go ready to go you oh that's it see yeah. with these you'd actually have to go then and buy the the bucket of balls mm -hmm. or you'd have to buy the peanuts for the different ones but they're ready to go if you want to put something up quick so we got our multi-seed seed. nuts and yeah. then you've got your peanuts ones the peanuts well. and yeah. they're good quality as i say you know there's very little wastage on it so mm -hmm. you have nothing on the ground then mm -hmm. afterwards mm -hmm. fantastic now i like this one yes because <laughs> this one is is it, it's going to stop my friends in my backyard because we have uh, we have a big rookery uh, very close to where oh, we live right. okay. and uh, and the, the, crows the crows are always coming in yeah. so what i what i don't like is when you throw out something is the crows just come down and take it all up and then the robins the wagtails the tits blue tits anything that come along yeah they have nothing left they have nothing left so so this is kind of a, a crow stopper exactly, exactly i like this so basically the feeder inside is for peanuts but mm -hmm. you can get ones for the seed as well and then you have your cage on the outside now if you see with this cage the holes are large enough 
I kind of thought they were very small. I was no, like, oh, would they fit? But they would, the yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll of course. They'll squeeze their way yeah. in. The robins will be able to get in. The tits will be able the to get in. The little wrens or anything like that. Anything, yeah. And they'll be able to get into the food. Whereas the crow, Can't. his beak will only get about this far. Ah, I love it. But Brilliant. the only thing with that then is that the crow might get frustrated with it. Okay. So make sure you tie it down well. Okay, they'll start banging it they'll around the face and get it. They'll land on the ground and everything will fall out of it. They've, so. got, they've got anger issues, they those have, crows. Yeah. <laughs> now, like that. If you didn't want just all the plastic ones, there's a lovely little wooden one here then as well, and that's a peanut feeder. Okay. Do you know, there's nice little feeders that you can put up then as well. Yeah, They're yeah. absolutely fabulous. Again, like, top comes off it, you fill yeah. it, end the story. And of course... And then that hangs up. And hangs well. up brilliantly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not just like a plastic tie or anything, it's a wire. So that'll... That's that'll, that'll, plastic that'll, coated as well, so it okay. won't rust, and yeah. then the rust won't go down into the wood or anything, the and the wood then is treated as well, yeah. so... So, of course, you do also have, just behind you there as well too, is the bird tables. That's and, like, right. People would possibly have them out all year you know they would have had a, you know it's they not have. just a, now, a winter thing with the thing. bird table you're going what do i do do i just throw the food on the top of it i was just going to yeah. ask yeah <laughs> you can do that as well but the only thing is uh the smaller birds are fine for getting in but you'd want to clean that quite regularly then because okay. you can imagine if the seed is quite damp on it it's getting moldy on top yeah. of the wood yeah. so it's not great for it another thing you can do is just screw in little hooks and then and hang them off and then it. hang them off oh, okay it. so that would be another way yeah now the thing is with bird tables as well they're tall they're top heavy yeah you've got the wind okay flat on the ground over See, the last couple of months now we've been okay but it's going yeah. to get windier and you stormier need to stabilize them into the ground mm -hmm. i have a box there somewhere yeah um that one there is stabilizer pegs right so it's just like little black iron pegs and they go in around the legs hammer of the, yeah, yeah hammer it down around it yeah. um, because like even with the wood if you kind of put it into the grass it'll eventually rot then as well yes so of you course. need to stable even whether it's a cement block up against it or something like that just mm -hmm. to keep it uh, mm -hmm. stable in the ground and as you said there's lots of different designs as well too there's oh, there some is. beautiful like, like, I mean, features look That's at that you can nice little live arch. it yourself you could, yeah. <laughs> how about a cat a cat would really find it shelter some rain and from yeah rain as well. but yeah. think there's a smooth pole in it so yeah. the cat hopefully might Won't fall off yeah. hopefully anyway yeah. but again like I mean it's not you're obviously feeding the birds but you want something that looks nice in your garden as well as decoration I mean the finish on them bar tables are absolutely fabulous absolutely and yeah. as long as you keep the upkeep on them every year well that's it yeah. let the kids maybe paint them nice little colours as you well can, too you can because they say now I'm no bird expert but okay. they say the bright colours actually attracts, attract them, attracts them yeah. as well that's why you have the bird bats then and the nice yeah. blues and greens and things like yeah. that yeah. and it attracts the birds in then as well and that's the main thing uh, Trish as well because you want to attract the birds in so what other things could you actually do to attract the birds yes it's not just all about the bags of feed or whatever it's not just t treating them in with some <laughs> No, food, yeah, no, yeah. no, you can plant plants, like you've got the berries, maybe you've got cotoneasters, you've got, okay, we've always saying put over your netting, over your blueberries or raspberries. To mine them, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you look at birds always get some as well. Yeah. If you've got your hawthorn, anything okay. like that, that will encourage them into the garden. Mm -hmm. Now, say for example, if you've a lot of perennials that you might have been growing over the summer. Now, perennials are flowers that would have flowers on it but now the flower has gone into a seed head. Okay. Don't cut them off. Oh, let them pick Leave away at them the seeds. And they'll pick away oh, at them. Yeah. They'll pick away okay. at that. Or even if you, the kids were growing sunflowers or anything like yeah, that. Yeah. Again, leave the head of it. Even if there's only a few small sunflowers, they'll mm -hmm. pick away at that. And would all the perennials be like that? They'd all go to seed, would some they? Of them or some will, of them yeah, will. Yeah, some of them will. You'll kind of know there's a lovely little verbena then as well. We had it over the summer with a tiny little um, purple flower on it. Okay. And again, that'll go lovely. into seed. The yeah. crosmia, you know, did you see it wild in the ditches, the orange, yes. the crosmia? Yes, yes, yes. We yes, were selling yes. the, the red ones and the yellows. They yeah. go into seed then as well. Yeah. But birds will find anything, even grasses that have a nice seed head on it. Yeah, yeah. They'll pick away at mm. all that as well. Yeah. So, as you say, rather than just going down the line of buying your bags of peanuts and seed, yeah. plant plants then yeah. will encourage the birds in. Absolutely. And plus, if you have a tree, there's your perching unit. Perfect, yeah. Do you know, yeah, and you absolutely. could tie your uh, little feeders off it and then so as just well. Just mind that the cats don't get at them. I know, I know, but look, up, there's, yeah, always yeah. Some, there's always a challenge, Alan. <laughs> a challenge for the birds. But yeah, there is also um, a lot of specific uh, feeds that you have here as well, That's too. That's right, a, yeah. A rock and robin rock feast. And robin feast. Oh, there right. you go. So it's packed with plenty of energy now for your robins, yeah. and that's great for encouraging them. And there is something about the robin, it's just such oh, a beautiful sure. little look bird, it. and fabulous. so many, so many people love so seeing them. If you them. want to specifically go for something for, say, the robins, go with this. Mm -hmm. The Niger seed, then, as well, like you're talking about goldfinches. One of my and favorites, I love the goldfinch. Yeah, love so that is actually in. a lovely one. Again, now you'll be going with a feeder 
that has the clear plastic on it yes. so it's obviously not going to fall out of it and would other birds L eat oh, they that? Would. They would, yeah, they but would. it just would hopefully It'll attract just in. attract them a bit more. So okay. even if you vary the food as well, it's like ourselves. If you're yeah. eating the same food so all the time, like, you get bored. Are they picky? It. Are they? Yeah. Okay. So it's no harm to change the food, and you'll encourage more yeah. different birds. And you mentioned well. the one with no waste. It's sunflower. We have the one here. Sunflower is great. Picture then of as well. a woodpecker, though. Now, not many woodpeckers well, around, is there? No, we, but we can try and encourage anything <laughs> in Ellen. <laughs> but it's mainly the blue tit, cold tit, grey tit, and chaffinch. Love that one as well too. That. And, and then the you have the, the nuts are always great. I always find them brilliant. Yeah. And you've got the seed then as well. Yeah. There's everything in that then. Wow. Like it's a whole mixture in it. So yeah. that should be perfect brilliant. then as well. Brilliant. Excellent. So that should uh, hopefully, as I said, we have big buckets here as well too. And I'm sure available from uh, most garden centers. This is an interesting one as well too. Uh, if you really wanted to get up close. Up close. And, and, and get yeah. a good view and of, of what's happening. you didn't mind the birds picking at the window The as odd well. time making a bit of noise. <laughs> it's a window feeder. Now okay. there's little, what would you call suction them? Cups. Suction cups. Yeah. And they'll actually suction onto your window. Yeah. And you put it on and then, now there's not a great lot of room in yeah. it for the feeding but okay. look at, it's a novelty yeah. it might be something nice for the kids, kids yeah. maybe they're in some room that they're doing their studying or whatever like mm. that and you had a little bird I know it's a distraction it's, a but <laughs> it's nice and it's, yeah. it's great to get kids interested and to see what type of birds are out there as yeah. well because it's amazing like the colours and everything mm. that are in them no I, I was a I was a, a bit of a, a bird nerd when you were talking oh, about you? when you were talking about those little books I had one of the Collins books oh, of yeah. birds and I used yeah. to love going out bird watching oh, all the time perfect. so and get the binoculars and away you go but I never I never had one of these. I never had yes. a little bird. Now bird again, house. how to encourage birds into your garden if you had nesting boxes yeah. in. Now again, you'd probably need a tree or if you had an old shed and you could put it up in the eave of it or something yeah, like that. Yeah. And these will encourage the bud. Now with nesting boxes, there's different size holes for different birds, birds to go in. Yeah. So just whatever birds you want to really encourage into the garden, just make sure you look at that before you yeah. buy your nesting and box. And do you need to put anything inside it? You no, 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 nothing inside. Nothing no, inside. no, nothing inside. I know it does open some way, but... <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but like, they're great. If you put up a nesting box this winter, you mightn't get birds straight away straight away no. it could be the following year yeah. but if the box is there yeah. they're used to it whether they sit on it or whatever, whatever yeah. and then someday the Bit wind will in and yeah. my god that it actually would be a great experience Lovely. then yeah. that you have them. and it's great you see them uh, go for some of the walks in the woods you'd see them uh, put up as well too all you around do. it's a lot of you do a lot yeah. of great yeah, yeah. great yeah, yeah. little things oh, for, no, it's for fantastic. kids and stuff like that yeah so uh, one last thing we wanted to talk about at the back is uh, our little crab apple tree uh, that's which right is fully fully full of fruit at the moment i know we were talking about it there a couple of weeks ago but it's nice to go back and show people absolutely what yeah. it looks like so this one then is malus gorgeous now the gorgeous name, the name says it in itself the little crab apples are just a delightful red they're absolutely yeah. fabulous now, this tree again has the white flowers in april may like your apple blossom the, the crabs are not poisonous or anything like that. Okay, You good. can actually use them in jams and jellies if you want oh, to go down that line. Right, very good. Or just ornamental. Again, that's another thing. If they fall on the ground, what will peck at them? The birds the will birds. peck at them. Yeah. So, do you know, it's fine like that. And yeah. that tree as well, the leaves turn kind of a yellowish colour. So there's a lot going on in the oh, autumn gorgeous. with that. So that it's, it's nice to have them because I always wondered about the purpose of them sometimes because like, you can't eat them, but there you is can, a lot of ornamental You can, but the other purpose, which would be a good one, if you have apple trees in your garden, Cross pollination. Exactly. Ah, yeah. brilliant. I'm learning some <laughs> stuff here. I'm learning some stuff here. <laughs> Trish, that is brilliant. Uh, that's been a jam packed. Ah, uh, oh, crap. Yeah, jam, yeah. do you see? And it did just, you mean to say it that? It just comes out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to claim I did anyway. Uh, so, listen, lots of things to think about. And remember, everybody, to check out the Facebook page uh, to, uh, if you're listening on the radio, to, to see all these fantastic products. And maybe it is time to bring a little bit more of our feathered friends into your garden and add a nice little touch to it. So, that is pretty much it for this week Trish thank you very much Great, as always Alan. until next time here on the garden show happy gardening